Hello, it's me again. Time for another crazy shoplifter story. This one involves me almost dying. Unfortunately, it's just part of the gig. Can't tell you how many times it almost happened. I'm sure all my colleagues out there could also tell you their tales about almost biting it for some crazy piece of merchandise or, or whatever it was. But anyway, this story involves Stolen shoes, an abandoned pregnant wife, a knife, pants around the ankles, and some very, very unnecessary nudity. Enjoy. Okay, so in this one, I'm watching cameras, watching this dude. They look pretty nice and normal, but Laws Prevention 101, what's the first thing you do when a person walks in the store? You look at their shoes. This guy has really dirty, ratty old shoes. So when that happens, I'm sorry, no matter what, what the deal is with the person, you're going to watch them, especially when they go straight to the shoe department. You out there that have felt my pain, you know what I'm talking about. Look at the shoes, look at the shoes. Anyway, this guy's shopping with his pregnant wife, and sure enough, grabs a new pair of shoes, Puts his old shoes in the box, keeps on the new shoes, starts to walk out. Bam, I've got him. Got him, got a live one. Can't wait. Not anticipating a problem with this guy at all. Kind of a dorky looking dude. Never thought in a million years he'd be a problem. You know, when I had a problem situation, a lot of times I had my usual backup crew in my office and um, we were always ready to pounce together. But in this case, I didn't think I was going to have an issue. So I was I was 100% solo. No big deal. So he leaves the store with his pregnant wife and gets to the foyer. And that's where we stop people. So we, we let him get past the last point of sale. We stop him in the foyer. So I went out to stop him. The guy immediately started to fight. The girlfriend, or I'm sorry, it was his wife. The wife just started walking away because she didn't want to get in trouble. So it's me and this guy fighting. And I couldn't believe it. While it was happening, I just couldn't believe it. So then the unfortunate part about the situation is he didn't have any underwear on. He had very loose jeans on. And while we were fighting, his pants fell to his ankles. Well, I'm telling you when that happened, I think I let out a little chuckle and he was not happy so he just started fighting even more. It really pissed him off. So we're fighting and the dude has no underwear on and things are flipping and flopping. And again, number one, unnecessary nudity. Number two, I'm a germaphobe. I just don't want that stuff fly, flying around me <laughs> while we're fighting. So I'm kind of freaking out. So I kind of let off for a second because of everything flopping around. So he starts screaming at me. He pulls his pants back up. At that point, somebody out in the store had called a red service. A red service is when people see the lost prevention person in trouble. They come out and help them if they're 18 and willing. Um, so in this case, the red service was called. And so once everybody started coming outside again, I started to grab him again. But because he was so pissed off that I was chuckling about his junk flying around, uh, he reached in his pants pocket and he pulled out a knife, which I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe any of this was happening with this guy because, you know, I've stopped over a thousand people and this guy to fight, I just couldn't believe it. But then he tried to kill me. So um, the Red Service people came outside to help me. And, you know, once you're in a fight with somebody with a knife, it's kind of a judgment call. Do you just let them go or are you too thick into it that you can't safely get out of the fight? It's a very hard situation to be in and you just wouldn't understand unless you're, you're in that situation. In this case, I saw everybody coming outside and I was worried about their safety because of the knife. So very unlike me, I let the guy go. So he takes off, he gets in his car. He doesn't realize or doesn't even think about his poor abandoned pregnant wife who is out in our lawn and garden area just kind of watching all this go down. Doesn't care, completely left her behind. So I try to calm down a little bit after what just happened and I go and grab the wife because she is a co-conspirator, but you know, I just want to talk to her about the situation because she was basically abandoned there. Um, 
And you know, when somebody's part of a crime, they don't stop it, they're a co-conspirator or whatever. But anyway, we got her in the office and started talking to her and she was so pissed off that he left her, that he, she gave me everything on him. Name, address, phone number, social security number. Hell, I think she even told me where his birthmark was. She sold that dude out like there was no tomorrow. So we were able to call the police, uh, had already called the police because of what had happened. But when they got there, she was happy to sell him out. They went straight to his house and arrested him. Now, because of the knife and because of what happened and because of everybody out there, that went from shoplifting to armed robbery. And some of the people involved had to go to court and they could attest to this. Um, they actually pursued him for armed robbery and he actually did go to prison. So normally when you shoplift, you know, it's your first offense, you didn't steal that much, you were cooperative, you get a ticket. Um, we do our civil restitution, which means we kind of sue you. We sue you for the merchandise you stole. We sue you for destroying our, our merchandise if you destroyed it. We sue them for our time in dealing with you. We're able to do that by law. But number of, usually we just give them the civil restitution and we have them arrested, but that just means getting a ticket. Now, if they fight or they have a weapon or they have a criminal history, they go to jail. But it's usually just jail. This guy went to prison. And as far as I know, he's still there. If he's not, maybe he'll watch this. I don't know. If he does, screw you, dude. Put your pants back on. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this one. Peace and love. I'm out.